Everyone is shut out of Pontins right now due to COVID. But had it been open, there is one group of visitors the company didn't want. Those from the traveller community were banned, discriminated against by name or simply for having Irish accents. They were known as undesirable guests and the company had a policy to keep them out. There's no other word for it other than racism. Absolutely appalled, but I am not shocked and I am not surprised. It is, it is as many of us suspected for a long, long time, um, an absolute shame on them. A document with a list of 40 names was uploaded to the company's intranet site and revealed by a whistleblower. The list included common Irish surnames such as Doherty, Gallagher, McLaughlin and Murphy. Such a policy belongs in another era, according to the Equality and Human Rights Commission, who say they've rarely seen anything like it. You can't blanket policy all groups of people and assume that they're all going to behave in the same way, and that's the problem here. It's that stereotyping, prejudicial approach to one group of people, um, and it's unacceptable and it's unlawful. Downing Street have branded the company's actions as completely unacceptable. And coming at a time when Pontins is looking to get back into business post lockdown, the timing could not be worse. We've come a long way since the 1960s when we saw on pub doors signs that read no blacks, no Irish, no gypsies, no dogs. You know, we don't we, we no longer we've progressed as a society from that point. But clearly we haven't progressed when it comes to gypsies and travellers. Pontins owners have signed a legally binding agreement to prevent racial discrimination in the future. Staff training and procedures to promote equality are now promised. The list of banned names has been binned. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Breen Sands.